Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss about the Postman request first close as part of Postman tutorial series. So let's get started. So what is Postman request workflow? So when collection runner or we can say in collection. So whenever we run any collection runner, all the I mean requests which are mentioned in the collection that will be going to be executed one by one that order we specified and even it's common for folder as well so based on the folder it will execute one by one so if a request came in that i need to do some certain operation where if my request one has some condition if request one is got success then i need to ignore request two but i need to execute request three so to do certain kind of operation so we have an built-in feature called uh, postman next request I mean set next re next request so this will allow us to use this kind of feature I mean this uh, uh, using some customization in our request so based on our input we can modify the next request which has which is going to be executed in the postman so for example if uh, request one if my request one is pass then I need to use so next uh, next request to be like request to or I mean I can say request for and then I will close and else I will say next request to be null so this is an one example where uh, I can uh, explain you better so I have a request one so under request one if I find if I find some ID or name or email so for example if I give ID if my request one produce I mean give say response called ID then I need to go to the next request which I am going to be execute the request four. so we have still we have request two and three that I not required to execute so I need to execute the next request which is a request four. I need to ignore the request two and three if my request one dot id fails so which means my authentication fails if i for example if an authentication so after authentication only user can enter into any application so if my authentication fails here i don't need to execute all the requests then i will say to postman collection runner that using a null so this null option will provide produce i mean this null option gives the postman to exit from there or terminate the next uh, request to be executed so I will show this how can we configure in our postman request so let's jump into the postman standalone tool in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so this is a postman standalone tool so I have taken some random uh, APIs so here uh, so we have one demonstrating uh, data driven testing so which we have utilized use this in a, a previous uh, tutorial so here I have a request body and uh, this will gives me some ID here so which means it is giving some ID of four and then a token so for example if the token is an authentication here so if my uh, report I mean if the response gives me token then I need to go inside to my request other request and execute those if the token is not coming here so I need to terminate the entire process so collection runner will not uh, do that operation that we need to provide some additional conditions so for example uh, so let's jump into so we can use this kind of condition in a pre-request script or test scripts so we can use in any of them and we can mention this kind of uh, code or condition in anywhere of the our uh, test script that will execute for sure even if you mention on the top of the test script that will execute even if you uh, keep this condition in the middle of uh, any test script that even that is also will execute so I will show you how can we do uh, to a certain uh, uh, response and request so this is my data driven uh, demo of data driven so if my data driven gives me some response then I need to execute the demo too so I need to ignore this get service call so after this execution only then I will go to demo too so let's do this using a code so we need to go to test script or pre-request script so I am using a test script so once we are in test scripts we need to get the entire request from response body so we need to get the control of response body to get the response body control so I will say let 
body equal to pm dot so response dot json so this will get the this will get my uh, response the response body entire response body will be now a reference on the body so that we are using so i will use an if condition here again so i will say body dot token token and after that token i will use inside so we need to i mean for writing test script we will use a pm object to get i mean to execute the next request we need to use the postman so don't forget this we need to use as a postman as an object so whereas the uh, executing the test script we can use an object called pm object so postman dot set next request so set next request will execute the next api or next uh, web service call so here it's it will take some uh, arguments or string parameters so here i will provide a name of my next service so here i have this demo data driven and you have get service and we have demo 2 so if you take this uh, demo data driven it's a first and then get service is a second and demo 3 is a third so i need to execute the third request so which is the demo 2 demo 2 then after i will say else part so else else i will say postman to terminate so if my body doesn't have any token then i need to say postman to terminate from here so set next request and my request is null so null will terminate the entire execution of my collection runner so i will save this so and this we cannot execute during our request level so if i run this on the request level so this is my request level if i go and click on send button it will not execute this condition because this condition is more used for collection runner but not in a request level so this is a one of the limitation so now we'll try to execute from the collection runner so we have seen request level so request level the next uh, i mean set next request will not be executed so we'll do it in a requirement collection level so if you go to the collection and then we click on this arrow which will give us like a run button here so we, once we click on this run button and this is the collection runner so in case if we are using any environment we can need to set here environment as i am not using any environment the iteration count will be i will set it to two to execute multiple times at two times then i will say run data driven test and in case if you are using any data driven uh, uh, files here so we can use that files as well so i am not using that file so it will use my default uh, uh, variables which are in the global level so i will say run data driven so here you can see it has executed two times so here if you see after executing the postman data driven the next request it got executed is demo2 which we have specified in the if condition and it is not executed the get service request so if you go back here go back to my collection so the first one is demo data driven and the third is demo2 so in case if you wanted to execute this get service then after you wanted to go to demo2 then we need to not to give this condition here so if i remove this condition and again save and go to collection runner again then again retry so this time it will execute all the services which are there in my collection so irrespective of what we specified it will execute all in a order wise so to get add our own workflow then we can use this condition and here also like whatever we specified in between services will not be executed then after if i specify here my get get service so after specifying get service here so whatever we have after that get service all the requests will be executed so if i run it again click on save and again go to collection runner and retry again so this time it will execute all because we have not jumping here so we have used the first one and in the first one we have given a condition to execute the second one then after third and fourth fifth then sequentially it will execute all the services
so this is the sequencing i mean which is a request workflow and this is very much handy and helpful when we are actually working on a framework so i will provide you a framework related how we can design the entire framework in uh, upcoming tutorials so this is like a beginner kind of tutorial where it can provide you the quick information how can you utilize all these features in the postman i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching Thank you.